handheld gamers. Yes, tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And today we're going to look at the 401 Retro Series Nintendo Classic Games all in one. I'll leave a link below to the distributor if you want to pick these up for yourself or for a shop. Look behind. Lots of colors. They come in. Is it worth 12 bucks? That is the question. Is it worth buying for 12 bucks? Is it worth buying for 12 bucks for resale? So let's take a look at these 400 classic NES games. Digital game system, 3-inch super-wide LCD. The console is slim, portable, and trendy. Digital multi-platform device, can play on TV. The backlit function of the screen ensures players can even play anywhere in the dark. With powerful rechargeable battery pack, includes an AC adapter with a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Six hours of continuous gameplay. All right, guys, here we go. $12. Not a bad, it's got a bit of weight to it, too. It's not super, super light. There's your charger there. And your, let me get the camera. There you go. And your audio there. Or, I don't think that's audio. That's to plug into the TV. Because the sound is pretty loud on this thing. Watch what I left the plastic on here. Because I'll be selling this in the store. So it's going to ask you for English and Chinese. We're going to go with English because I can't read Chinese. And there you go with the classic Super Mario. So let's go from the back because they always put the worst ones. Nope, you got Pac Man here. You got Ninja One, Ninja Two. I wonder if Ninja One they 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 used to be called Black Manta. I'm not sure if it was a. Uh, Changed, I'm not sure. Uh, I remember they, they changed the game names. They change games all the time. I remember Joust, F1 Race, Ice Climber. Oh, Ice Climber's classic. Golf. Mm. Excite Bike, that's another classic there. All your Donkey Kongs. Defender. Combat. Oh, you got Bomberman. Oh, Burger Time is fun too. That used to be an old Atari game. Then you got Aladdin. Ten Yard Fight. Oh my god. Spider-Man. Mortal Kombat 4 in there. Ninja Gaiden. Okay. Snow Bros. Oh, I remember that one. You used to swallow things in snow and like just bury things in snow. Russian Attack. Jackal. Russian Attack was one of my favorite games. Let's give it a try. One player. It's a one-touch-you-die game. Kids kids nowadays don't know how good they have it. By the way, I got the lights on in the store, and it's bright in here, and you can see this thing as clear as day. Here goes. Well, buttons respond well. Okay, duck's really good. Jump is up. Yep. Yep, button's got a good response time. That's what we, usually what I look at as response time. And processing. Processing slows down through the game, and you're like, I pushed the button, I pushed the button. Oh, see? One touch, you're dead. And I, didn't, I barely saw that guy because I'm playing through the phone. So this Russian attack, it works. Let's go back to... Back to English. Okay, well, we gotta test this one out. You know how this works. Oh, there's your high jump. Yeah, the buttons are configured right here. Oh, yeah, here you go. All right, you'll know if it's an original Mario, if the if the free man... You can put a mix on the music here. There's a long jump, it works. Okay, if there's a free man here, you got yourself an authentic Mario conversion. Oh, yeah. Usually, if there's not a free man there... It's some sort of tampered.
Oop, I missed the jump there, but that was me. I missed the button myself. Buttons are nicely placed for you to run and jump. There she goes. Oh, and the pause works while you're still waiting. Yeah, that's right. Then you're going to go swimming for a bit. Let's see if this music is sped up. Yeah, it is. I think they do it because of copyright issues. All right, that works. One thing I want to see, if one game I actually want to take my time and play is Ninja Turtles, this one. If this works, if this works, this thing is worth every penny. It's worth your $12. Here it goes, guys. It's Chinese. Wonder if I pushed. Yep, buttons work. It looks like it's in English, though. Jump works fine. Okay. Next game. All right. Let's go from. The oh, Contra, but this Contra 7. We have to find, like, actual Contra. Jackal. Adventure Island. This is Wonder Boy. All right. It does have some Chinese uh, letters around there. Get my, get my skateboard up here. Skateboard. Yeah. Okay, well everything's been there hasn't been any disappointment so far, guys, whatsoever. Four hundred and one. Just wanna see if they have regular contra. of Rambo. Rambo was good too. What the heck is Ninja? This is good, man! Alright, anyways, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment. Mario 3, it's got turtles though, it's got the main ones up here. I'm just trying to see if I could find... Oh, they have Adventure Island 2! Oh, uh, Chippendale, let's see if this one works. Play Chip. It is in Chinese though. This is a tough one. Oh. Yeah, that's working fine. <sighs> What's Mario 14? Oh, it must have been just, uh... Yeah, it must be a fan-made game. It must be... It must be a fan-made game. The fact that, okay, let's see Mario 3 works. Let's make sure this one at least works. It looks, it looks kosher. It looks kosher. It's in English.
Mom, I want a dinosaur. Can't I get one right now? Mom, I want a dinosaur. I don't have my, my shooter here yet. Let's see what's in here. Oh, you... So much for using the warp. I want a dinosaur. I could have flew to get that. Now I'm a little guy. Mom, I want a dinosaur. Can I get one right now? There it goes. Right now I'd have like seven men. But I haven't played this in so long. Yeah, everything looks super kosher on my end, guys, with this system. For what it is, for what you're paying for. Yes, I could fly now. Jeez Louise, thank you. I know there's... Ah, never mind. Let's see one more game. Let's go English. I like Turtles. Contra. Let's see if Contra works. I was... Ah, oh, there it is. Contra 1. You want to play Contra 1? Because I think... There it is. The first one, it's in English. The second one's in Chinese, and then I think the third one is... Yeah, some other games. Jungle. All right, Contra. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, B, A, select, start. Here we go. Oh, and you could duck. Everything works. Usually, the controls don't work right, and that's usually a problem with this game. Get my eagle arms here. I just don't... I want to stay away from that, man. Bridge is going to fall. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, yeah, you can go in the water. I forgot. This is a great two-player game, guys. But unfortunately, you can't play a two-player here. Just brush off the guys up top there. They do have advantage over me, though, so I ain't cheating, guys. Get this F. I had a tough, tough time getting out of that water. Damn. Well, Contra works. I love Russian attack, guys. Oh, it moves around. I noticed that it moves around. Let's see what it has for. I don't. I didn't see Rambo here. Rambo was another one I like. Pac-Man was fun. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to know, is this thing worth it or not? I think it's worth the money. I think it's worth every penny. Ooh, it's got island. Oh, police dog. It's got... Yeah, all kinds of other little mix-ins there. Hey, this is Mike Martins from The Handheld Junkie. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to support our transmission. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Look forward to reading your comments below. And comment below if there's a specific handheld game you want me to review. Thanks for watching.